Welcome back to another video from Grant Heating and Air. Today we are showing off the Daikin VRV heat pump system. This is the indoor air handler. What used to be here was just a traditional gas furnace, propane application here. But we were able to change it out for the air handler with the electric heat backup. So you might have seen some of our other videos. We'll have a link as well that talks about our all electric systems. This is kind of like that, only this is a whole lot more with the VRV, our variable refrigerant volume systems. And I'll show you a bit of the indoor. So this is your typical air handler with the electric heat kit inside. We were able to add the translator for this. So the Daikin 1 thermostat, which we'll show, needs a translator to communicate with this type of equipment. And so that's what this box is here that's translating to use the Daikin 1 thermostat. We were able to use a large filter box like you've seen in some of our other videos. This one's a little different. This one's accordion style filter, but not the same that we've seen in our other videos there. But once again, four inch thick filter, lower that static pressure. This box is just to lift the air handler up off the ground. There's no filter in here, even though this was a filter rack at one time. We're just using it to get the air into the system and up through the coil. So. This is, of course, a ducted system. We're going to show you our ductless system that is also connected to the same outdoor unit. So we can mix and match ducted, ductless, all kinds of different indoor equipment with this. And But what's neat is we had one line set coming in, which we'll show you later. It branched off and came in here to supply the refrigeration lines to the indoor unit. Also, we've added our active air purifier from dust free this is pretty neat maybe we can do a video on this on the future but this is actively cleaning the air and we added humidification to this one so we do have the honeywell bypass advanced with the damper control which we've shown in our other videos as well so you can use humidification with the vrv systems okay so one more thing i want to show you on this system i talked about the humidification the air purification the filter, but over here, if you take a look, this is the Daikin air monitor system. And it's a small device that actually probes into the ductwork, I'd say about 10 inches or so. And this unit wirelessly connects to the thermostat upstairs and gives us information on the indoor air quality, VOCs, particulates, and stuff like that. So this is a live instrument that is showing us information on the thermostat as well as the app from Daikin One. So that's pretty neat for the customer to be able to see differences in the air quality. We noticed right away when we were like cooking or cleaning, particulates would come up. Cleaning with bleach or anything like that, it would give a VOC reading. And so it really kind of just gives you that overall picture of the air quality of the home. It's really neat that we can take a ducted system that had a gas furnace introduce a heat pump all electric system but now we can take it to the next step and we're going to show you that upstairs okay we're upstairs on the 12k high wall head i was talking about so this is the second zone that we added to the upstairs level because all the heat is rising it's getting hot up here and the ductwork that was put into this home was not done correctly so you'll get to see the outside and how the piping comes up and this is the high wall head that we connected to. This is our ductless working with our ducted unit that we showed. And this one actually is being controlled by a wireless remote. So we can actually just turn this guy on. And this actually mounts on the wall way over there and it still communicates. You can see the fan blades come down and this will provide heating and cooling to the upper level with its own zone and its own controller. So some of the neat features about the high wall head is we can actually do a swing control. Let me give you just a quick close up of this and you guys can see the extra controls on there. If you, if you activate the swing, which will illuminate here, whenever this system is heating or cooling, these fan blades are gonna start to move as they are now. And they're gonna help distribute the heating and cooling in the room like this. When it reaches temperature though, those fan blades will just straighten out. So as if I go ahead and turn this down some more, 
it should reach temperature and those fan blades will just straighten out and then you know it's actually not heating. One of the cool things too that I like about this is it actually has some lights that tell you when to clean the filter, tells you if the outdoor unit is in defrost, and it actually will tell you if the unit is running a timer. So you can have this come on like a schedule, like a traditional thermostat would have. To clean the filters, you just pop these edges open. I'm gonna to try to do this and just, it's very high up in the ceiling, but see those filters up there? All you gotta do is pull this up, pull it out, clean it, and put them back in. Really simple to do. So that's nice and easy to clean for maintenance on the filters. I guess the last thing I would say about this is how quiet this is. And what's neat about this is the fan will automatically change speed based on the demand. So if it needs to heat more and it feels like it's behind the game, the, the airflow is going to be higher. And as it gets closer to temperature, the airflow is going to come way down. And so as it's maintaining temperature, I think I hear the one vent in his room more than, than I hear this thing. So absolutely quiet high wall heads to use so pretty neat just wanted to show you the extra 12k that we added and now you can see it's actually reached temperature and the swing has stopped coming up and down it's just straight out and the air will slow way down here in a minute and actually it is sampling the air temperature from the top so whenever this unit is on it will continue to run the fan at a very low 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 speed just to make sure it knows what the temperature is in the room because it doesn't read the temperature from here it reads the temperature from up there we call that a thermistor built into the unit but we can set the temperature here and that's that audible beep that you're hearing is that that it heard the command so you want to hear that beep to know that what you've done on the thermostat has been received by the indoor unit so I'll go ahead and turn it off and that's just that off button there and you guys will notice the fan has already stopped and now this will close up really nice sleek so this is really nice to be able to take mixed units whether they're ducted or ductless connected to the vrv and then you can have your own zones okay so we're outside here i wanted to show you this outdoor unit this is our vrv unit here and we were able to hook up multiple indoor units to this guy. So we actually did two for this particular setup and we did a ducted unit inside. So we replaced the gas furnace with an all electric air handler and we were able to do high wall head. So you can kind of hybrid the duct and the non ductless units. We call them ductless or ducted units. So we're able to do both with this type of system. So on a VRV unit, what's neat about these is we can come in with one line set. So when you see a multi-zone mini split, you're going to see a lot of line sets coming out of the unit. But on a VRV, we have one line set that comes out, branches off. On, on this particular setup, we had to branch right away because we had to get into the lower basement area to replace the gas furnace with an all electric air handler. And then we came up to the problem on this. If you, if you move up there and take a look is this part gets really hot in the home. There's a bedroom up there and we'll show that indoor unit it gets really hot. So it's not comfortable. So we were able to take an extra zone off one line set and split and be able to feed another indoor unit upstairs and what's cool too is we actually have a mixed type of indoor equipment so we have a ducted and a ductless which is pretty cool so you can do both some of the real big advantages to the vrv though is the ability to go in with one line set of course makes it a lot smaller penetration in the home and this is my home by the way so we have some different things going on here that we need to paint and do some other things but i wanted to give you a good example of this one of the, the advantages is getting that one line set in would just be one penetration into the home and then you can split off into many indoor units. So you don't have to be outside because this obviously isn't the prettiest thing out here. And a lot of applications, which we have another job we'll show you here in the future, we actually have three indoor air handlers that are all electric hooked up to one of these VRVs that's a five ton. It has two fans on it. This one's a four ton. So when we go from four to five, we actually have an extra fan that makes them a little taller for the extra capacity. But that's the advantage is to be able to go in with one line set and branch off to many indoor units. 
one of the caveats to that though is the way the power is supplied to the indoor unit. With a VRV, you supply power to the outdoor unit at 240 volts in this particular application, but you also have to supply 240 volts to every indoor unit. So you have to keep that in mind when going with the VRV is can you get power 240 volts into each indoor unit. On a mini split, which we're going to show here soon, we're actually filming this tomorrow, we can take the power to the outdoor unit and have the outdoor unit power each of the indoor units. So it's not required to have that individual power supply for each indoor unit on a mini split type or um, I guess they're all called mini splits. Um, this VRV though has kind of its own its own deal going on with powering each of the indoor units individually. So you have to keep that in mind. So one of the other really big advantages to the VRV system is the ability to expand later. And that's exactly what we did here. We have a four ton outdoor unit, three ton indoor air handler, and we had it that way for like a year knowing that one, at some point we wanted to add another 12K indoor ductless unit. So we were able to operate this unit for over a year, taking care of the entire home on the three ton. Then we had the ability to add that one ton upstairs and utilize the extra ton available from the outdoor unit. So if you're thinking about doing an addition in the future, but you're not ready to do it, the VRV is the most flexible unit for that as it can handle lower minimum indoor capacities, meaning that it can handle being a larger outdoor unit and having smaller indoor units and adding later. You can also have a larger capacity of indoor units than the outdoor unit. And then what happens is, let's say all the indoor units are calling, what'll happen is it's gonna share that load. So you might have a little less capacity at all the indoor units, but let's say you, you have a room, like the living room might need more capacity sometimes than other parts of the home. So you can oversize particular indoor units. And when other indoor units are not running, then you can utilize that extra capacity at a different indoor location. So that's a nice feature too. It'll automatically distribute all of the output available to the indoor unit. So if they're all calling, you might get a little less at all the units, but if some of the units indoor are not calling, you can get extra capacity at some of the other indoor units. So it gives you some flexibility in that matchup of the equipment from indoor to outdoor. This one is a heat pump that we operate here at our house, and we've been down to what, negative 20, um, this particular system should turn off at around negative 17, so you do need a backup source of heat, and that's why we went with the all-electric air handler for the main furnace that was in the home, because we could supplement it with the electric heat kit during those rare times that we do drop to those temperatures. But the high wall head that's located on the upper level would not have a backup source of heat. And so in that instance, this unit would shut down and not provide heat to the high wall head. But the air handler having its heat kit is going to allow that backup source of heat to engage. So you keep that in mind too when designing these systems. But the VRV Life, really neat, has its place. Definitely different with the way the line sets and the power are supplied. But this one great for like if you want to do additions and things like that and having only one line set go in let's say we needed to get um, other indoor units at the other side of the home well instead of having to run you know four different line sets out here and make them run all the way and all these lines are coming in everywhere you can do that one line set in branch off branch off branch off which is a really nice feature of the vrv how it can it's, and VRV stands for variable refrigerant volume. We do add the electric pan heater for this unit. So when we are going through defrost and you see some of my other videos, we do show this particular unit in defrost. It used to be on the house. So you're probably seeing some strangeness, strangeness. That's a hard word today. You're seeing some difference in the paint here because we actually, when we installed this upper unit which we haven't had a chance to paint and finish the side of the house we actually had to change kind of the way this was coming in because it was just one line set at that one time coming in but now it's branched outside to add that extra high wall 
Um, but we had this mounted on the building. So disadvantage to mounting your outdoor unit to the house, to the building is the vibrational sounds. You're gonna hear it. It's gonna go up and down and ramp through different stages of heating and cooling. When it goes through defrost, it kind of goes through a little grumble. And we really kind of got used to it. But when we did this upgrade, we took it off the house and we put it on the mini split stand, which was a really good idea because now all that sound transfer is gone. I don't hear it going through defrost anymore. I don't hear the different levels anymore of this system. So we highly recommend always putting them on a, a mini split stand and not attaching them to the house unless you're doing something like we did over there. We are under construction here, but I have an atmosphere unit attached to our garage. Do we care so much about the sound travel on the garage? No. What we cared more about in this application is getting the heat pump up and out of the way because we want to be able to get around the garage and do our thing. So I, I don't, I would recommend putting them on a bracket where maybe there's concrete, no noise transfer, or on a building like this, a garage. But when you're hooking these up to your house, it's definitely a lot better idea. Get them off the house, put them on a stand, keep that sound from traveling through the walls of the home. Okay, so now we're standing in front of the Daikin 1 thermostat. I did show the translator down there on the air handler. So you get most of the same functions through the Daikin 1 on the translator setup, but you do lose a few. And I just wanted to show some heavy hitters on this. Same sort of interface. You're gonna go up and down, drag, and change your modes here. But one thing you're going to notice is even though this is an all electric system, there's no emergency heat mode. And that's just because VRV is a completely different type of system in the fact that the outdoor unit is actually the brains of the system. The thermostat just asks, can I do this? And the outdoor unit says yes or no, based on all kinds of parameters, whether it's temperature and those kinds of things. So what actually happens is if there is an error with the outdoor unit or if it gets too cold outside it will automatically allow the heat kit to come on on our air handler but there is no individual control here so that's one of the main differences on this type of system so what this mode master means is that one thermostat controls is basically the master of the system meaning that if this is in heat all the other systems have to be in heat so that's why one thermostat in the home will be the master, the rest will not. And so if you go to try to cool on any of the other units and this is in heat, it'll say mode not available. So that's why we have this on the screen on this particular application. Now I know there's some commercial VRV that can actually do heating and cooling, which is very advanced, really cool technology. But in this particular VRV life for residential, we don't have that option. Everything else here is pretty much the same. Your schedule, um, all that, your settings in here are all the same as what we've shown in our other videos. So I guess those are pretty much the, the, the big differences in the VRV is that you don't see the emergency heat. You do have a master thermostat and you don't have really the same controls as you would um, with the other systems for the fan. I know we have less control of the fan speed, but that looks like that could be done in a software update. But other than that, all of this is going to be the same as your traditional Daikin ones that we've showed in our other videos. So here's our mascot Gizmo. He had surgery, so he's wearing a cone of shame, but come say hi. <laughs> Oh. Thanks for coming along with another video with Grant's Heating and Air where we're showing off the VRV system from Daikin. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends and family and all your HVAC friends. We'll see you on the next one.